Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Fire Revival here in Atlanta, Georgia. Good morning. Good morning. We are here on day two, yes. service number three. Yes, it is. With the Fire Revival, which we are being led up under our wonderful leadership Come of on. the man of faith and power, yes. Apostle Edison Nottage. And none other than God's daughter of fire prophetess, Amen. Dr. Maddie Nottage. Amen. And let me tell you, people of God, as she said, we're in day number three. This is day three. Session number three of the Fire Revival right here in downtown Atlanta. Yes. People of God. The flames of fire have yes. already started, yes. and we're going to continue these flames so they yes. never go out. Yes. God has been moving by his fire and his faith and power, and yes. we are excited about what's going to be happening on today. Oh but let's God. just do a quick recap yes. of what has already happened. Yes. Amen. Amen. So just like our sis said, as far as the fire revival, it has been epic. It has been amazing. It has yes. been blazing, as we can say, of coming up. But um, as far as the recap on last night, Prophetess led us in such of a powerful time of um, the message that she that she relayed to us on last yes. night, talking about taking siege of the gate. Yes. And when we say taking siege of the gate, what does that really mean? What does that really mean? What does that really mean? That really mean? Well, we'll break it down for you. I mean, not giving any glory to the enemy, but right. the devil tries to throw things at you to get you off course from where you need to be in God. Yes. Things such as poverty, yes. lack. I mean, so many yes. people struggle with that. Their finances aren't where they, sh you know, looking like what they should look right. like. It can even be the spirit of infirmity. It can. So it can many people depression. suffer from sicknesses and yes. illnesses and diseases. Yes. yes, just like Providence was really preaching on last night. And as we were really, you know, taking siege of the gates, you know, yes. taking, using the authority that God has given unto us to take back what belongs to us, it led into such a mighty, mighty time of deliverance and prayer. And by doing that, a prophet has led us into a point of actually, you know, receiving um, the gates of prosperity, yes. the gates of blessings, the gates of influence, yes. creative ideas, and much, much, much more. Much, much. It was so awesome. And even as that, that transitioned onto it, it really, you could tell it touched so many people. It touched the lives of the people that so much to the point that it was all about souls. Yes. It was all about souls. Amen. Tell us a little bit about that. Absolutely. Once deliverance broke out, oh my God, yes. the atmosphere shifted. shifted you can completely. feel the presence of God. It yes. was just Amen. that thick. Literally around the entire building, Amen. deliverance broke out. Yes. Families were being restored. Yes. People were being delivered and yes. set free from Amen. the attacks of the enemy. Yes. And my God, when the altar call was made, my that God. was like the highlight of everything. Yes. Salvation to place. And my God, we give God all the praise yes, and glory for the hundreds of souls yes. that were saved on last Amen. night. Amen. Oh my God, we don't it take it awesome. lightly. Why? Because this is what it's all about, all about. people of God. All Our about. pastor's labor is not in vain. No, it is not. God has given them such a major assignment. Yes. And they came to this very place yes. here in Atlanta, Georgia yes. for souls. They're on assignment, people yes. of God. And what we saw on last night was fun. Phenomenal. Amazing. Souls came to the kingdom Amazing. of God. Amen. And we celebrate Almighty yes, God do. for those souls yes, on last do. night. Amen. And Amen. just to take it back a little bit off of that, you know, God is so good that he's given us the leaders that we have up under yes. this ministry. And they have said numerous times that they spare no expense, that every sacrifice, every bit of labor is all yes. for one soul. So Lord. by the grace of God, to see the many souls that came to the altar from many different walks of life was so beautiful and so profound Amen. to know that that's what it's about. So people of God, do not miss your visitation come here on. in Atlanta. If you are in the surrounding areas, come on down. If you got to catch a plane, come get on. on a train, drive, get in that car, come Come on down here to Atlanta, Georgia. We have a few services left. We have tonight's service yes. and tomorrow morning. Come you on. guys do not want to miss it. And then I believe also that Providence has mentioned whenever you get here, come visit us at the bookstore. Amen. Come visit us at the bookstore. We will be praying over the Engedi drinking water. Yes. If you want to come and don't miss your moment. Don't miss your moment, people of God. But we just want to just let you guys know that there's so many things in store. So please, you can go on social media. You can follow us yes. on um, Maddie Nottage TV. Subscribe. And then um, tell us a little bit more about where they can, can get Even on our website. 
website, www.maddynottage.org, or you can call us in our yep. call center. So as she said before, you want to be here. Yes. God is moving by his power. Yes. He is moving by his strength. And you want to be a part yes, of what he's doing you. right here in Atlanta, Georgia. Yes. We have an apostle. We have yes. a prophetess that came all the way, all the way from Atlanta. From the just for you. So Amen. don't miss your moment, people of God. We are here today. Service will be starting soon. Yes. So meet us here. Amen. Yes. Amen. And Amen. We'll be going in. See you guys soon. God bless all right. you. God bless you all. Hallelujah! 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 Glory to your name, O God! Hallelujah! Oh, we thank you, Lord Jesus!
Because the word of the Lord declares you overcome the enemy yes. by the blood of the Lamb, which has already been shed, and through the word of your testimony. Oh my God. Hallelujah. And through this resurrection we can. Oh yes. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are celebrating the shed blood of Jesus Christ, knowing that it speaks for us. My God. Thousands of years later, My God. it speaks and it will continue to speak. Because even on last night, hey. the soul. The soul. Oh my God. Come on, let's give God praise for every Everybody night. Everybody should be on your feet. Come on and give God praise. Lord, or we dedicated and we saw those people. I mean, just walking. Oh I'm like, God. oh my God, yes. this is like an entire army. Yes. There were so many people Hallelujah. that gave their lives to Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh my God, that's Jesus. when you know revival is here. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, people, give God praise. Oh my God. But Minister Kim, maybe you don't understand. But prophetess and apostle oh, made a promise to God that they are going to give God one-tenth of the world's population. Do you know how many people that is? And to see it, the hundreds of persons that came up to the altar on, hallelujah. to give their lives yes. over to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. They were on their way to hell. But the oh come on, that is the greatest miracle yes. in Christianity. Hallelujah! Greater than any deliverance, greater than any healing or financial breakthrough. The greatest miracle is when someone gives their soul over to Jesus Christ. That's what this revival is here for. Come on, hallelujah. Come on and give God praise. Hallelujah. Come on, people of God. There should be a greater praise. Oh, my God. There should be a greater appreciation for our God. Hallelujah. Jesus. He said if I were to be lifted up. Come on. From this earth, I'll draw ah. all men into myself. My and so it was the name of Jesus that was lifted up on last night. Hallelujah. That drew those souls. We thank God for our apostle and our Thank prophet you, who continue to declare and demonstrate the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And we cover them under the blood of, Jesus, the blood of Jesus that they would remain. Yes. Hallelujah. They would remain strong in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus name. Oh my God. We just give God praise. We give him praise. Hallelujah. We're going to continue now. Amen. You may Hallelujah. Take your Glory to God, the fire revival we kicked off on yesterday. Yes. We're here again today. Amen. We will be here again tonight. tonight. And of course, we'll come back on Resurrection Sunday. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow, hallelujah, the oh. 31st of March, we'll be right here. Amen. And Atlanta, Georgia, you want to make sure that you are here tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. hallelujah. We look forward to seeing you tonight. And tomorrow, in Jesus' name, I think we begin tonight at 6 p.m. Thereabouts, so you want to make sure that you're out there no later than 3 p.m. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> we want to make sure that you're seated early so we can have an early kickoff to hear what God wants to say to us tonight. Come on and put your hands together one more time. Hallelujah. And let's glorify God. Okay, have you done the work of an evangelist? Amen. Did you find the link? Did you like? I got a one thumbs up, only one. Oh my, okay, there we go. There we go. Like, you comment, amen, and then you share it, amen. Keep that conversation going all throughout the service, amen. Yes. Somebody wants to know what's happening right here. They need this. Yes. Ooh, they need this, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be unto God. So God bless all of you. Come on, give yourselves a hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even as we continue now with our in-house testimonies. Yes. Hallelujah. We always love to hear direct from the people of God what God is doing. Amen. And because we've got so many. That's right. You know, Prophetess was walking through in the morning service, you know, just walking through the aisles. And this lady came to us after the service and said, I don't know what happened, but she couldn't move her arm. She couldn't move her arm, Minister Kim. But it's almost like the shadow 
of the prophet just walked past her and she said that only the dress of prophet has touched her wow. and now there's no more pain oh, in that arm oh my god oh come on people of god these are scriptures yes. that are being fulfilled where the shadow of peter brought people into deliverance even the shadow and the garments of our pastors I know y'all think we're joking, hallelujah. But these are real testimonies. Real testimonies. Come on and give God praise. Hallelujah. Come on one more time. Let me hear you give God glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please come and testify. testify. Tell us what God is doing in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank hallelujah. You, Jesus. Hallelujah. I am Ajane Howard coming all the way from North Carolina. I'm all a right. Yeah. Connected to this altar, I thank you, mighty God, for connecting me to this ministry. Yes. I thank you. I want to honor prophetess and apostle in this ministry. I thank you, mighty God, for healing me. Um, just recently, I was diagnosed with chronic sinusitis, and basically the condition was so bad that they said there was significant damage to my frontal lobe. They said they didn't know how I was even functioning. So I thank God. They, they said that either I would have to have surgery where they would move parts of my nose and my sinuses, and as I would age, it would collapse. Or they said that I would um, have to take immunotherapy shots once a week for the rest of my life. But I'm standing right here because of this altar. Come oh on. I don't God. have to have surgery. I don't have to take the shots. I'm cured. I am healed. Oh, my God. Brain, the yeah. the my oh, my God. Saints, I graduated college at the top of my class. I thank you, God, because, because of this ministry, because of this altar. Mighty God, come to this fire. Come to this altar where the presence of God is here, where no disease is incurable. Because of Jesus Christ, because of him, we are healed. My brain is healed. There's nothing the enemy can do. That gate, that bondage that they had on my brain, it is broken in the name of Jesus. My brain will be used for the glory of God. I don't care what the devil says. My, my career, my ministry is for God. This ministry is for God. And I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You connect a fire altar and change the doctor's report. Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! We glorify God. Oh, yeah! Please come and testify. Tell us your first name and where you're from. Hello, Hello. Believers. Hello. 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 The head of my life, but I want to give all the honor and the glory to Prophetess, Prophetess Body Knowledge and Dr. Edison Knowledge. Amen. Amen. They are my spiritual parents. They don't, they don't really know me, but they know me in the spirit. Yes. Yeah. But you know, so I'm of a, let me, I'm 21 years old, and I came to America like three years ago on my own. I was, um, was able to find a job, was able to get my own apartment, and was able to do a lot of things. Wow. My mom is connected to the fiery also in Nassau, Bahamas. And Amen. Hallelujah. So I just want to give a praise report. So my brother, my youngest brother, um, so he got into some problems with the law about, um, let's say, last year. And he went, the prophetess, um, they went to Nassau last year. And she located him and she touched him. So at that same time, he was going through a mental issue, like somebody laced his he, was, he had a smoking habit. Somebody laced the joint, the blood, sorry. Wow. And he was going in and out of his mind. And as he came to the altar, he went through so much things. And as he felt the fire of God, when prophetess touched him, and she delivered him, he just, he just came back to normal. And I just want to wow. thank God for that. So he's oh turned around. God. Hallelujah. So he was going through some problems with the law and everything. So before his court date in January, on the first order, um, prophetess came in my dream. She always showed up in my dream, and she was holding my hand with him, and she was smiling. She, so that's confirmation that everything is gonna be okay, right? And so it could have been more worse the the years and everything, but God, he, he got into like one year. It could have been more worse. I want to thank God for that because y'all don't know. Yeah. Jesus name. And 
So he's up. He's um, incarcerated now, but he has um, prophetess books. He's reading it and everything with the Bible, and he's changing his life. You know, nobody is perfect. You know, we fall down and we get up sometimes. But when we come to the story, also God gives us prophetess, a prophetess, and a apostle like Samuel. We are not. Nobody is perfect. Okay. And so I have another person for us. So I was last year. I went to BFO my in South Florida, and I was sewing and praying for a job. So I moved to Atlanta, and I was able to get a job paying $19. I I Hallelujah. So I deal with customer service. I have to talk and be sociable with everybody. So I, be, I, I, I always minister and tell everybody about um, the goodness of apostle and prophetess, you know. And if you're not in the house of the Lord and be at OMI, where are you? What are you doing? This is the place to be. God bless you. God bless the fiery altar. And I love you, apostle and prophetess. I love you, everybody. Have a good day. In Jesus' name. Oh, come on. Give God praise. Oh, come on. Bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. We thank God. Amen. That she still had victory. Amen. Even yes. for her brother. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. And it could sounds like it could have been much worse. That's right. Amen. So we are grateful for everything that God does. Amen. Yes. And so we give him praise for that testimony In Jesus and changing name. another life. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Come now and testify. Please come and testify. Give us your first name. Tell us Alicia. where you're from. Hi, my name is Alicia. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Um, in January, I had a, a friend, well, in March, I had a friend called Paul Center for me. Um, I have idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, and it's a bit of a bomb. And she held the woman on the, at the call center. March 7th, I had a CT scan, and they couldn't find it. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Apostle 
um, Edison and Prophetess Maddie Nottage. So I wanted to testify that in two, 2021, I took my bar exam, but I actually failed the bar exam on the first time. So I was very depressed and I felt broken and defeated. But as a result of being connected to this ministry and the prayers and God, I am happy to announce that I successfully passed the bar exam the second time. Oh! Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. And I am practicing law in South Carolina, and I'm just grateful that God is able to use me to help other people. And I just thank God, and He's continuing to use me, and I'm not going to stop there. I'm working on being licensed in Alabama and even Georgia, so I just thank God. Um, if you keep God first, you, you can do anything. So thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Come on, give God praise. Fall oh, from the gates of failure to the gates of success. called me last night after the first a.m. for a meeting I went back to the hotel and as I got into the elevator I'm gonna show y'all how how the demonstration of the power of God works and, and just the, the, the manifestation of it I went back to the hotel and I got into the elevator and I was headed to my room and it was about 10 people and at the hotel where I'm staying at there's another uh, Baptist uh, revival and y'all know Baptist folks you know I ain't gonna go there but tonight, today, but anyway, they were having a revival, and I stepped into the elevator, and the elevator broke down. I oh my God, I didn't, I don't know about y'all, but I got a quick revelation. I said, devil, you ain't gonna bind me, not too much longer, because prophet has been preaching on these gates, and these gates gonna open tonight. Come on, They I gonna go. open tonight. And I, when I was in the elevator, and it was stuck for 20 minutes, it was stuck for 20 minutes. Right and, finally, and finally, finally, two white men come. I said, I said, I don't know about y'all, but is there anybody on the Lord's side in this oh. elevator? Oh. Anybody on the Lord's side? I said, because we about to get to pray. It's been 15 minutes and I can't hardly breathe. So I said, Lo Sokoto, Re Sokoremasa, Robo Sadara. Finally, two men stepped from the back and started to prying up the elevator. They couldn't get it open. I looked back and I said, Robo, shit in it out, stop, Ray, it's gonna open. Try it again. They went back and they pried it again. Hallelujah. And it didn't open. Ah, oh, the devil had a plan for me. They didn't want me to come last night. I went in tongues again. I said, Robo, she can't it all stop. Open. This gate, devil. The third try, y'all. I mean, you know, it opened. It opened. Hallelujah. The gates of hell opened because of what the woman of God was preaching about the gate. Let me just touch on this real quick. I, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. I want to touch on something before I sit down. Amen. Those gates open because of the revelation of the prophetess yes. that the teaching. And amen, the teaching, amen. And the devil didn't want us to come. And we have to be careful of those demonic gates. 25 years ago, I'm gonna drop this on y'all and I'm gonna sit down. 25 years ago, God healed me from HIV. I was dying from AIDS. My God. 25 years ago, God healed me from AIDS. And said, wherever your foot trod, tell people of my healing power. And I came and he brought me to this ministry because he said he wasn't finished. 
He said there was something prophetess had to put into me. There was some more healing that needs to take place. And this the body of Christ don't like to talk about. And I used to live in Fort Lauderdale, had my own broadcast and everything. And God uprooted me from there and said, I'm going to take you around the whole United States to tell people of my power. Because the people in the church don't want to hear it. They still fornicating. They still, uh, still masturbating. They still adultery. He said, but just tell my people, I will not heal them to give the glory to the devil. I will heal them for my glory and my glory only. Amen. God be blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, give God praise. Come on, bless the Lord for his healing power. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, he deserves the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All glory goes to God. Hallelujah. And we give him praise. Amen. Yes, we do. For what he's doing. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. We will continue now Please with come. our testimonies. Hallelujah. Come and testify about the goodness of Jesus Christ. Oh! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hey! Oh, Jesus. God is doing something at believers' faith. Jesus! Hallelujah! Shaking the case. Come on and testify. Hold the mic right to your mouth, please. It's been a long time coming, but it's a testimony. This is going back two years ago, back in 2022, when um, my name is Marcia, and Keisha, and uh, she was diagnosed with um, B-cell lymphoma, uh, cancer of the brain, and also she also had a large tumor that was in the brain that was spreading very fast. Jesus. So we tried going to different places, uh, different hospitals, and uh, the last hospital that, we, the hospital that we went to had told us that she only had five days to live because although we were there for about eight months, going back and forwards with them, and they were telling us that um, they could not touch the brain because of the Come on, oh, come on, people, to your feet. Your feet. come on, and let's acknowledge the presence yes. of the apostle hey. and the prophet of God. Hallelujah. Come on and give high praises. Lift up your boys. God bless you, sir. God bless you, God bless you man. Hallelujah. You may continue with your testimony. Amen. You have to get her there, and since it's only given her five days, you have to get you have to get her there. She was in a lot of pain, so much pain. I, I don't know how anybody human can even you know tolerate that kind of pain. But anyway, we um, ended up um, going online. You know, she helped us get online, and we booked the ticket. And it was right here in Atlanta, Georgia, that they were having us. Okay, I'll oh, get her there. So I went back and told the doctors that. Um, I found somewhere that I was going to go and you know, check it out and see how things are. And they said, well, good luck with that. I said, it's not what I need. It's, you know, I need her to be healed. Yes. So uh, we came and um, my daughter, I think the first night was like well, April the 8th. It was a Friday and she was in so much pain. And she sat in the back somewhere and uh, she said, if only, you know, the Lord would just take away this pain. I can enjoy the service. 
So that by that time, she had this red cloth over her high because the high was so huge. And um, Apostle Edison, he had you know, called her out and said, you know, that um, you know, this is her day, you know, you know, to get healing. He prayed for her and the pain immediately lifted. My God. Immediately. So after, you know, the pain had left, okay, you know, I told her, you know, that we got three days here. Yes. And we don't know what God's going to do. But, I think know, we have pictures. I'm sorry. We think we have pictures. Yes. We have, we have Oh, Amen. Jesus. We have, um, we have um, this picture right here um, was after when, uh, you know, uh, we got prayer. Yes. And um, I remember, you know, um, the, the prophetess was saying, I know my Jesus. And after when she prayed for her, right, you, don't, you didn't see anything straight away, but that's when we started walking to the back of the uh, church at the entrance of 6.30 on the last day. That was when I noticed the ice started to shrink down. Jesus. But, you know, I told them, I told the, uh, I went back to the doctor and, um, and I showed them what was happening. And, you know, and I told them about, you know, this, you know, ministry. And I says, look, you know, you have to get to the root. You know, I never heard about this before, but, you know, in a part of, you know, and, you know, a prophetess was preaching about the root. Yeah. You got to get to the root because what yeah. the doctors do, they're just doing the top, just taking the pieces out, but they're not really getting to the root where it can be killed, died off. So they said, um, well, you can see that the eye has shrunk, but what did they do? How did it, you know, start shrinking? You know, I said, the power of God, pray. Yes. They did, and they didn't believe all of that because they kept saying, well, she's still got five days to live. And I says, no, according to Psalms 91, God promised you long life. Uh, oh, you know? God. So we, um, we ended up, you know, going back back and forwards, you know, and then we ended up going somewhere else to a different doctor with the hospital, actually. And they said that the first hospital had diagnosed us wrong. She did not have what they said. They called it meningioma. Meningioma is the type of cancer that grows very fast and it kills you straight away. And they said, they said that's not what she had. So what they did, they said, they can go and take a little piece and just test it and see what can be done. So I explained to them that, you know, I believe in the power of prayer. The doctor at the time, you know, he was saying, you know, well, I've never heard about the power of prayer, but if we pray, then maybe the God that you serve can guide my hand on how to fix it. Jesus. We don't know what's going to happen to her when we should get out of surgery, but the, 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 the tumor continued to shrink. So when she went in, the doctors, you know, he called me from the waiting room and said, hey, we don't know what's happening here. Your daughter, you know, we took your little piece out. She's supposed to go in recovery for five hours. What your daughter is doing, she's running around the surgery room praying to God. <laughs> oh, Jesus! You know, you can't do that when you just got out of brain surgery. So, you know, they said that she, you know, after when all of that was going to be, because before she had gone in there, she was not speaking, doing a whole lot of stuff, right, because the tumor was taking over. But, you know, because I had told him, he said, he's never seen anything this fast before. He said, he's a believer in prayer. And uh, the Lord, you know, just continued. What he started, he's going to finish. Because that tumor, although it took the side of her eye, you know, and um, it, it was spreading, took the, the, you know, the, the side of her eye, but we still told the doctors that we didn't want a glass eye. We want an eye that she can see out of. She said that, you know, that it's impossible. But, you know, they said, you know, you know, the tumor, the tumor and the cancer can come back. And I said, no, because according to Nahum 1, verse 9, it says this affliction will not come back. So January of last year, the 12th, we went in for, you know, an MRI just to see, you know, what was going on. And um, she had, uh, I'd say, two, three minutes, right, she had died. The procedure had taken over, 
and um, they said there was nothing they could do. So they left us in the room. And I said, the devil is a liar because he promised her a long life. I prayed she came back to, although she came back, oh, Jesus. she came back, but she had no vision in her other eye, the eye that she can see out of. And she wasn't talking, she wasn't walking. And I just told the doctors and the nurses, I said, it's okay, we've got, I said that we're under a ministry. You know, when you stay under this altar right here, I'm telling you that things can happen. Things will happen, you know. And she started within two or three days, her vision in her good eye came back. One in the other eye didn't come back, but you know, we're just thankful that they couldn't find no tumors. They couldn't find no oh, cancer. Jesus. The cancer completely gone. Hallelujah. She's had quite a few tests since then because they are so sure that it was gonna come back. Because there were other patients that went in, came out, and they didn't they go into remission, but then six months later they come back with the cancer. So they were asking us, you know, how come she's not coming back with the cancer? And I said, it's not coming back. I said that we found, you know, a ministry that prays, keeps you on the altar. Come on. You know, and she's gone through a whole lot, you know, and since she's been in remission, all the pain from her body that stayed with her for about six months completely gone. Jesus. And I just want to give God hey. praise and honor for that, you know. And I just want to encourage every one of you that, you know, there's nothing too hard for God. Stay in this ministry, yeah. stay covered, because when the doctors tell you they can't help you, you have to turn to God and this ministry to pray you through. You know, and this is my prayer request, that everybody that came in to get what they want from the Lord is not hard. And uh, do you think, Keisha? Hi, my name is Keisha, my mom. I'm Atlanta, Georgia. First of all, I'd like to thank the Lord. Oh, God. I'd like to thank the Lord. I just want to thank the Lord also for what, you know, God has done. No, and he's not finished with her yet because what he started, he's going to finish. And she will get her brand new eye to show the doctor that God gave her eye from heaven. All the body parts are up there. All of them. He can bring down anything from heaven and give you a brand new eye. We just got to wait on him and he will do it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on and give God praise. Come on and give God praise!
worship you. We worship our Lord. You come on, say it like you've given him all the glory. We give you all. Come on, lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands, and give him glory on this day, this beautiful day. Come on, lift your hands and give him glory. Give him glory. Hallelujah. 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 You are Alpha. And Omega, we worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You are Alpha. You are. Hallelujah. 
So we give you all. You are worthy. We give it to you. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. Because you are worthy. You're worthy of it all. We are worthy of it all. You are worthy. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. We praise your holy name. Shake it a rabba, shake it a rosso. Oh God, we invite your presence. Let your presence fill this place. Let your glory come into this place. Let your anointing rest upon us right now. God, we decrease so that you can increase. Take control. We give you full authority to take control, to move in this place. Father, just as you heal that young lady's eye, there are so many more that's believing for a miracle, a healing miracle in this place. And Father, even as you have begun to work in her, we know that you are well able to complete it. And even as you have done the work in her, you did it before. We know that you can do it again. Heal your people today. Oh God, let supernatural healing. Let give them a supernatural touch. In the name of Jesus. Jeta Rebo Koshakanda. Rebe Sheketo Rashata. Jekande Robo Sokota. Jeta Rebo Sekende Robosko. We go into the heavens. We go into the heavenly realm. And we break the power of God into this place. The healing balm. The healing power. We bring it back here now. Touch your people. Heal them, Lord God. Healing, let healing take place. Let lumps disappear. In the name of Jesus. Heal them of kidney problems. Of heart problems. The touch of people of heal them of cancer. Yeah. A paralysis. And every form of disease and sickness. In the name of Jesus, they are healed. By the stripes of Jesus, they are healed. In Jesus' name, we are healed. We receive it today. We receive our healing. And we receive the touch from God. In the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus. Rebondo Koshata. Rebeke Shakata. Robo Shandana Namaska. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody praise him. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise your God. Come on, come on, come on. Open your mouth. And let out a praise, let out a praise, let out a praise, let out a praise. Let out a praise. Hallelujah. 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 We praise you. Because you are worthy. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Come on and bless the name of the Lord. Come on, somebody. Bless the name of the Lord. Oh, God, as you. As you prepare, take your seats. Give God praise. Oh my God. What a mighty God. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What an awesome God. Hallelujah. This is why we will continue to follow the lead of God and go where He sends us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just a couple short years ago, that was right here in Atlanta, when God touched that young lady. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's a few months ago, and we're back. Could it be that God sent us back for you? 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we give God praise. We give God glory. We thank God for Hallelujah. Day one is in the books. We had a powerful move of God morning and evening. Hallelujah. We saw God show up and show off. Hallelujah. But I went to bed rejoicing. Anybody know I was rejoice why I was rejoicing? Because the Bible says the angel in heaven rejoice over one sinner that come to know the Lord. We had all, I think about almost a hundred people came up to this altar on last night and gave their life to the Lord. So hallelujah, if they're rejoicing over one, oh, we rejoice over all of those people that came and surrendered and gave their life over to the Lord. Oh my God. And so I was just thanking God, thanking God, thanking God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's 80 people that if we had not come here, probably would have not been in the kingdom right now. Hallelujah. But because we came, they came and they surrendered their life to God. So we give God praise. We give God praise. We give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may take your seats. I don't know. Some of you are, I don't know if you're tired. Are you tired? Some of you are getting tired. Hallelujah. Are you all waiting? You are, you are reserving your energy for the shout. Well, it's a good time to shout. What did I say? Hallelujah. What did I say? You're all waiting for the rainy day. It's raining now. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 It's a good time to shout. 80 over almost 100 people. Oh my God. If you can't shout for souls, people that weren't saved, weren't in the kingdom, and now they are in the kingdom. I don't know what you're gonna make, what's gonna make you shout. But we honor God. We give God praise. I I don't want to be before you too long because we 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 want to bring prophetess and allow her to do what God, hallelujah, has placed in her spirit to do. Touch your boys on the side of you. Say the gates of hell. The gates of hell cannot prevail. The gates of hell will not prevail against you, against your family, and against the church of the Lord Jesus Christ against the people of the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. The gates of hell will not prevail, cannot prevail. Come on and give God praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, we just want to, go ahead, take us. seat. Y'all make me want to preach, see? I'm trying to get out of the way. <laughs> Don't get me excited. <laughs> More excited than I'm already. Amen, hallelujah. So we got tonight, after this morning, we got tonight. Hallelujah. And then we get tomorrow morning. Hallelujah. 10 a.m. Tonight at 6. Tomorrow morning at 10. Hallelujah. So we are pretty much passing the halfway mark. It's amazing how fast it goes. You pray and you pray and then it reaches and then it goes. Hallelujah. But we are praying that by tonight, we, want, we, we will be able to release some news to you we're still praying on some stuff trying to tie up some stuff but by tonight we should be able to release some good news hallelujah to all of you that are here so we give God praise we give God praise for that hallelujah we give God praise now we want you please please if you haven't I know some I see some of you out there and you're supporting supporting the bookstore please support the bookstore go out and get your products whatever you need the guy said that when they were coming down, they got hit with a fine because they were, the truck was overweight. So we can't send the truck back overweight. Amen. Don't let, don't let us have to pay another fine. Hallelujah. You know, they, they, was, they were just loading it. They wasn't taking the car. They thought that they was going to get straight here without going through a weighing station. But somewhere down the line, they had to go to a weighing station. 
they say, man, you're like 3,000 pounds overweight. <laughs> Hallelujah. So ain't no way in the world he going to let that truck go by. Overweight, right? Amen, amen, amen. So go get your shirts, get your water, get your oil, whatever you need. Pack up on it, stack up on it, amen. They have the, hallelujah, uh, the BFOM Global Prayer Bind right here. They have some of these out there. So if you're a part of the prayer, hallelujah, the BFOM Prayer, hallelujah, these are the binds. You can go to the table, hallelujah, and get your bind, hallelujah. You are a part of that Global Prayer, hallelujah. Network. And so we give God praise. We give God praise. Hallelujah. And we know you're going to do what you have to do. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So we honor God. Also on tomorrow, we want to break bread with you. So we will be administering the communion on tomorrow. Hallelujah. Resurrection Sunday, they call it. So we're going to be partaking in the communion. So come. Hallelujah. And let us do that together. Hallelujah. Is that all right? Well, you all get tight because you all know I'm going to say it's offering time, right? Loose yourself. You tight people. Let me tell you all about that. Get loose. Hallelujah. Come on. This is the time for you to be blessed. Amen. This is your time to be blessed. So instead of getting tight, you should have already be prepared in your envelopes. Amen. I think the ushers are. I don't know why the ushers, they know what they come up to do. They should have been walking through. Hallelujah. And we're going we're gonna to give. We're going to give. I'm not going to take long on giving. Because I didn't prime you. I didn't pre preach a whole message on giving. So I ain't going to stay here long this morning. All of you should be ready to give. Amen. Hallelujah. Now I still need those of you that are, you, you thousandaires. We're still looking for you. We still believe in God that you will give. I'm going to join in this morning and give me and my wife. We're going to give a thousand. And we want those of you that can join in with us and give that thousand. We want you to bring it. We're going to take that from you. And then we're going to get ready for, hallelujah, you to release the offering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if you're going to be one of those that are giving that thousand dollar seed, I need you. I want you to bring it for me now. Hallelujah. 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 I want to just anoint you. So that means if you don't come, I have to anoint myself. I can take all, oh, here we go. Let her come, let her come. Y'all are scared the people. Don't scare the people. They come, they come with the scene. Y'all have the woman jumping. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Come on. I release the power in you already. That is already in you to get the wealth and be successful. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 I release that power within you that is already within you to get the wealth and give you the ability to live successful and, a, and an abundant life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Don't miss and write a million now. <laughs> you, you type in fast. I don't put the wrong number. A thousand. There you go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I release the power for success. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I release power for success in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You made it. And you're sowing. Hallelujah. God bless you. I release that power for success into your life now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. How are you doing, sir? Good to see you. Hallelujah, the power for success. I release it upon you now. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Can I have a pan, an offering pan, something to put these in? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Stay right there, please. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I release upon you now the power to be successful and blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. As you come, receive. Come believing. Come believing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I release that power upon you for success and to be blessed. Everything you put your hands to, be blessed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I release that power. For success. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 
Okay, those of you that are waiting to give, you can pray. You can pray. I release that power upon you now for success. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Come on, pray, pray. Those of you that are sitting, pray, pray in tongues. I release that power upon you now. Be blessed and be successful in Jesus' name. I release upon you now the power of success. Be blessed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I release it now upon you. Be successful. Be blessed. In the name of Jesus. Be successful. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Ah, the power for success. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Rebeke Shotorobosan Hararabasa Rebebeshi. The power of success, success. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Rebeke Shundo in the name of Jesus. I release the power for success. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on and give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Hallelujah. 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 Now the rest of you ready? Let's stand with your offering. Stand with your gifts. Stand with your seed. Come on. Hallelujah. We're going to wait on you. Hallelujah. 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 Man of God. Man of God. Man of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The power of us for success. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Come on, lift your seed. Lift your envelopes. Whatever you're giving. Hallelujah. Whatever you're giving. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus. Rosoko. The power for success. Be blessed. Be blessed. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Shate. Rebe Shakanda. Hallelujah. Receive it. Receive it. That's right. Receive it. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. Begin to speak over your envelope. Begin to speak over your seed. Don't be so casual. Come on. Speak over it. Speak over it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Speak over your seed. Command your seed to bring in an abundant harvest. Come on, talk to your seed. Say, as I give you today, as I release you today, I command you to bring in an abundant harvest in the name of Jesus. I command you to bring in an abundant harvest in the name of Jesus. I sow you into the kingdom and I sow you into rich soil and I command you to bring forth an unexpected harvest an abundant harvest in the mighty name of Jesus now give God a praise if you believe that today your seed will come back in an abundant harvest give God praise hallelujah hallelujah the praise team is gonna Bless us while you give, and then you will hear from our prophetess. Prophetess Dr. Maddie Nottage. Come on. Keep praising. Keep rejoicing. Hallelujah. 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 This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I... This is how...
Hallelujah. Jesus. Come, 
I want to show you people something here. Demons don't have any authority. Demons don't have any power over the people. Only the power you give them. So me, I'm not afraid of one single demon. The demon is more afraid of me. Do you understand? Because of who is in me, Christ in me. And you understand? Shabbata, Shakata. How long have you been tormenting this guy? Uh, two years. Two years. Two years. They sent us the killer and destroyed the family. Yeah. Destroyed the children, destroyed the marriage, destroyed the home. Uh -huh. She has nothing. Yeah. She's free for everything. She's she true. She has nothing. Who sent you though? Oh, the baby mother. The Next baby, baby mother. mother. Yeah. Oh, so they yeah. attack her. Yeah. She yes, attack the girl. He said, hey, wait, wait now. Where's the house of the baby mother? Uh, in New York. In New York. In New York. <laughs> Yeah, no. and so you all have sent your powers to attack this girl, to strip off everything, eh? Yeah, she has nothing, she's broke. She broke, she eh? Nothing. Hey, you feel proud of that? Uh, yes! Yes, she's eh? Gonna die. Yeah, no, you oh, know, eh? Do you know death? Do you know death? Do you know death? Do you know I have the power of death and life? Proverbs 18 and 21. You demon, you are so stupid. You didn't know that this girl was coming to this revival? Yes! You knew she was coming. She watched you every day. Every day. Yes. And you also watch her yes. watch me. And she prayed. And you watch her pray every yes. day. Yes. You are a stupid demon. This is what I'm going to do with you. I'm going to move you from this girl's body. I'm going to lose you from her life. Yes. I'm going to send you back where you came from. You said the baby mother paid for you to come. Yes. Uh, so I send you back you to that one. Hey, look here. I destroyed the altar in New York. Look. Jesus say, go, go, and say in the name of Jesus Christ, I terminate your contract. Jesus day. You spend a witchcraft. Lose your powers now. Ouch. I cast you out. Jesus name. Look, Jesus. put the touch on God upon every one of you demons in this girl's body, in her life, attacking her family. To alter that sent you is no more.
Jesus. Zabri kita la basoto. Zabaka zabaka zaba. Zaba baba sete la baka. Zobro zabaka zaba. Zokota. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Zala brakita la basa. Zala la la basa. Take captivity of the gate of the mind. In the name of Jesus. Take captivity of the gate of the mind. In the name of Jesus. Take captivity of the gate of the mind. In the name of Jesus. Zaba kita la basoto. Zala la la la. See because when the enemy attacked many of you. Yes. The place they gain entrance is the mind. Are you understanding me? It's the soul. And once the demon can convince you that he is in control of your soul, Hallelujah. then he takes ultimately takes over your life. Yeah. Do you understand? So you have to you have Hallelujah. to stop the person, and you have to stop the demon from manifesting. Hallelujah. By now infiltrating the mind of the person. Yes. Do you get me? Do you get me? And then you don't allow a demon to talk so much. Hallelujah. Because if he's talking too much, Amen. He's not hearing you. Come on. He feels as if he have your audience. Come on. He feels as if he have your attention. Yes. So you have to stop the host. Hallelujah. You have to calm the host down. Yes. Are you understanding? Yes. And then you have to take control of the atmosphere. Hallelujah. Of the mind of that person. Yes. Because the demon watched her pray. Watch you pray. Watch you come to church. Yes. Watch you go to church. Yes. Watch you sleep. Yes. Watch you eat. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit monitoring you. In this season, uh, I blind the eyes of that spirit. In the name of Jesus. I blind the minds of that spirit. I blind the eyes of that spirit. I cast it out. I said I cast it out. I cast it out. I come out and took off of all of you. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I possess my victory. I possess my victory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, so we give God praise today. Hallelujah. We give God all glory, all honor. Hallelujah. All the glory belongs to Him. Yes, yes, yes. All the glory belongs to Him. Yes. All the honor belongs to God. Yes. All the praise belongs to Him. Hallelujah. God is the great and mighty in the world. He is the great and mighty I am that I am. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. Yes. He is the first. And He is the last. Yes. Yes. Are you hearing that? Yes, yes. There was none before him. There's none after him. Hallelujah. There is none in between him. Hallelujah. You see, I am John, I am. Yes, yes, yes. So today we give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody clap your hands together. Give Jesus the loudest shout of praise. that carried your name to an evil altar to cause pain to your life to cause, amen have up to your life to cause shame to come to your life that person is a wicked person that person is a witch Jesus said in the book of Leviticus, do not allow a witch to coexist with you now you have a choice you have a choice. You can just leave that person alone. You can just leave them alone and just say, you know, it's just a person. But I want to caution you today. Sometimes behind a spirit, there is a human. Now, the girl I was just over there. Her attachment is to a man. 
and the man is also attached to another woman. Do you understand me? So there are several powers against her that was working, was working, was working, was working against her. Now keep emotions down, you devil. You're not on a parade here. And the, the spirit is this, is that because she was in love with a man, right? The man started to love somebody else. And they have, they have a baby for that person. And that person is fighting this person. Now, watch this. You have to deliver this girl from the spirit of witchcraft. But you also have to deliver her from the spouse, which is the male man, that spirit. Because if there's any centimeter of a soul that is still tied to that man, she is giving him that spirit authority to dominate her. Are we understanding? Yes. Number one, number two, number three. In the space of this brokenness, in this place of woundedness, she has allowed this spirit to take portions of her solar colorina, her mind. Why? Because even though she may have broken up with him or not be in his life like that, she has given a portion of herself to him. That's the problem with most of you women. A man leaves you and moves on. And you're still thinking about him every day. You're still thinking about him every single day. I wonder where he is. I wonder what he's doing. I wonder where he is. I wonder what and you are still. That's why your soul the gate of your soul is what is wounded. It is the gate of your soul that is taking issues. As soon as you give a person too much of yourself, more than you give to God, you will not be free from that person. That person will keep you in a perpetual cycle of injury. Of brokenness. That's why your sound should be my soul loves only you, Lord. Your soul loves only you. Prophet, how can my soul only love God? And I am married to this person. Hey! Jesus, love of my soul. I love you, but I don't love you more than I love Jesus. Hallelujah. You will hear my voice today. Hallelujah. That's your business if you want to go give your whole soul. Your whole soul. <laughs> your whole soul over to them. And you don't even know that. You just, you don't even know if they was born a male or a female for sure. Oh Jesus, that's another day. No, you don't, you don't. You give your whole soul to Jesus. Because the arm of flesh will disappoint you. No matter what you do for some people, male or female, one day they're going to win. They're going to reject you. If only for 60 seconds. So be careful. The gate of your soul is the entryway to all parts of you. When God created man, he said, I created man in my image and in my likeness. But he breathed to man and man became a living soul, a nephish. Praise God, a being. There's a part of your being that is your mind, your will, your intellect, your emotions. And if you do not know how to articulate it spiritually, and keep it in the right framework of Jesus Christ. If the person you are married to don't know how to articulate it carefully and prayerfully, they will hurt you because it's in them. It's in them. The peace is in the nature is it can go any direction if the soul is not anchored and ruled in God. The tendency to fall in and out out of love with you is there. So that's why. Oh yeah, we. Paul wrote, and he said, "Be renewed in the 
the spirit of your mind. He will renew it well. In the spirit of your mind. Make sure the gateway to your mental arena is a gateway of fire. Make sure the person that you are marrying to, they are passed to the gate of fire. Oh, Jesus, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. Jesus. Make sure they are passed to the gate of fire. Because if they did not go to that ring of fire, there is a potential. There is a tendency to disappoint you. I know you don't have to hear it, but it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. You don't. Because you're going to come one day and say, Prophet, you are so correct. Anyone that don't go through the gate of fire, the gate of burning themselves, and being burned, no matter how gifted you are, how talented you are, that person who's supposed to be your number one supporter one day, the devil is going to use them to speak words to you that in your lowest and weakest moment that will cause your, your career, to cause your gift to gender, when they should have come to your life to be an asset, to cause you to fall. Jesus. Am I talking to someone? Yes. Am I talking to anyone? You're talking. So the gate to the soul, the gate to the arena of the soul has to first go through the gate of fire. Every gate that you will come into if you're going to have success in this lifetime, you will have to pass through the gate of fire. And once you've gone through the gate of fire, this is where Paul wrote in the book of Corinthians. And he said, in a house, there are many vessels, vessels of honor and vessels of dishonor. But how do you know which vessel is a vessel of honor, a vessel of dishonor? A vessel that is made of iron or a vessel that is made of hay. And the, all the vessels will be passed through a fire. And he said, if it is not burned, if it is not destroyed, then you will know that vessel there, that's a vessel of honor. I came to tell you today, people of God, that God is looking for vessels of honor. God is looking for vessels of what? I can't hear y'all. Oh. Hallelujah. Come and answer, give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise.
that's your prayer today. You want God to fill your heart. Mommy, what do you want Jesus to do for you? What do you want Jesus to do for you? Let's put a mic there. Huh? What do you want Jesus to do for you? What do you want Jesus to do for you? Huh? I want Jesus to free me from this situation. What situation? You came to my altar. Just getting accurate teaching on the whole. Not all. Um, there's some where I've been being misled, but I, I, I allowed it because I don't want to be out of God's will. Mm-hmm. And because of my upbringing, sometimes I'm confused as to what God's will is. Okay. And I've been searching for it's some time now. I don't know who Pastor Jerry is or Jared is, and I don't like calling, you know, Pastor's name on my platform because me, Maddie Norwich, I, I don't want to get in civil warfare with the messy social media that I see out there. That's not my calling. That's not my assignment. So I don't, you see me even very, very seldom respond to foolish people that's trying to build their platform by using my name and ministry or trying to accuse me of things that is not true. So sometimes I I choose not to answer and I choose not to even call their names. I, I pray, I am a very powerful intercessor and my God is a very powerful God. So if I even answer people, it is because God has told me to do so. And there are times that it will warrant that. And outside of the spiritual, I have a very strong legal team. So some people, you'll never hear their voice again. Some people, you'll never ever hear them call another prophet name again. Because not only are we spiritually powerful, but we also have legal representation that will shake them right down to the core of their so, mommy, don't waste my time. What do you want Jesus to deliver you from? What do you want to be delivered? I want to be delivered. is here or the person is where you go? To be honest, I don't know where, I know where they're from. Okay, so you want to be delivered from them because you feel as if you're under a manipulation system 
a religious system that may be misleading you to a certain extent, it's okay. Are you getting me? It's okay. Do you all understand that? Because this person feels as if that they want to serve God, but because of where they have attached themselves, there are some levels of witchcraft. Do you understand? So, are you, are you all getting this? So, listen, this is, this, this, this is not a bad thing as you are thinking. It is a bad thing for her. And it's a bad thing for you if you allow yourself to stay under that system. Now, here's the thing. Is that a person without calling their names, without saying where their church is and the name of their church? I don't need to say it. She doesn't need to say it anymore. She has said enough that is saying now she needs to be delivered. I want people to understand something here. This is a learning curve for you. Not every prophet is a prophet of God. Come on, prophet. Come on, prophet. Talk about Hi. it, prophet. I don't care what nobody say. Amen. Not every apostle is an apostle of God. Come on, prophet. Right. That's number one. That's number one. You gotta be able to discern. You gotta be able. The Bible said that the discernment of spirit. Know where that place where you are calling. Know that place where you are going. Know that link that you keep clicking on. Is that a true man or woman of God? Come on, prophetess. Yes. Hallelujah. The people, I don't know. Church people are very mysterious. Oh. You need to know. And if you don't know, sometimes you need to ask God to show you, to reveal to you. God, reveal to me. Show me by your word. Show me by your word. Show me through the amount of another. Show me through the life of another prophet. Show me, connect me. Show me, Holy Ghost. Is this person real or are they? Can I explain something to you people? They are false prophets. But then they are not only false prophets and false apostles. Go and read your Bible. Get that scripture. They are also what the Bible called false teachers. You all missed that. You see these crazy people on social. Excuse me. All they want to talk about who is a false prophet. There go a false prophet. There go a false prophet. Ah, she's a false prophet. She's a... The New Testament. Now, it's no longer just talking about who is a false prophet. A false apostle. It talks about false teachers. Teachers. And Paul even called some of them. He called them out by name. And he told you who they were. He said, beware of false teachers. So there have been some that have been sent to mislead some of you away from the truth. And away from the true men and women of God. So what some of these false people will do is that they will create a man, a lie about a true servant of God and they will begin to even attack prophets praise God and they will say they will even say to you that person there she's a false prophet they will even call some of us witches wherein they themselves are warlocks and they themselves are witches and the Bible say the last day spirit that you have to know for sure is already in the church. It's called the spirit of deception. And what the spirit of deception do is it raises to itself a spirit of belial. There's some people are watching me right now. There's some of you right now, you're home watching me. There's some of you right now hearing my voice. The Bible said, no them that labor among you. And then he even gives you a, a, a challenge. He said, try the spirit. Huh? By the Spirit. By which Spirit do? By the Spirit of God. So that you will know them that are of God and that are not of God. So, there are some people that, yes, quickly read. Two and one. Uh -huh. But there were false prophets uh -huh. also among the people. Yes. Even as there shall be false 
teachers, false teachers among you. The church is just caught up on false prophets. It's not your only problem. Oh. It's now false teachers. Yes. And some of these people, uh, they, they have churches, some of them. Some of them have extended in churches. Yes. And some of them don't. They sit right there and they have their cameras. And they sit right there on the set. And they say, ah, you know, my name is Prophet so-and-so. Or my name is someone, Apostle so or so, or my name is Mary Ann Suella, or Mr. Mary Ann Suella, and I am here to sanitize the church. I am here. God called me to expose all false prophets. Ah. When they themselves read quickly, who primarily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them. Yes, ma'am. And bring upon themselves yes, swift destruction. Don't worry, these people will be destroyed. Anyone that opens their mouth against a true, if you are a true woman of God and a, or a true man of God, anyone that rises against you to blaspheme you, are you understanding me? Yes, prophet. Or to accuse you wrongfully, God said, Don't worry about them. They are going to be what? They will bring upon themselves swift destruction. Swift destruction. Swift destruction. Yes, ma'am. The Bible talks about some people that withstood Moses. Yes. Their name was Janice and Jambres. Yes. Do y'all remember them? Yes, ma'am. Janice and Jambres. These people were still thinking they were so powerful. That they was of the power of God and that God. And they began to try to turn the people away from Moses. And when they tried to do that, my God, the judgment of God came upon them. So swiftly, the Bible did something I'm going to show you. The Bible said concerning them, the earth open up. Apostle, I said the earth open up. And the earth swallowed them. Am I talking to somebody? I'm going to teach you that too before this weekend is over. Because when you hear me praying, I'm not praying foolishness. When you hear me saying, in the name of Jesus Christ, if I say the earth, warm it up, warm it up. But if I say in the name of Jesus, let the earth swallow your adversary. You're not hearing me. You're not hearing me. Let the earth swallow them. Praise God, the Bible says, the earth opened up and swallowed them. It did the same thing. It did it with Janice and Jambres. Who else it did it for with Korah? He told he could have just come up there and just blaspheme Moses and talk down and talk bad about Moses and call Moses a false prophet. And before he knew it, bam! Swallow him. His wife, his children, his children, children. Everybody was destroyed. God don't like foolishness. I'm just telling you right now. People of God, there are some false prophets, yes. And there are some false teachers. But I can tell you today, do you know that God will judge every false prophet? Do you know that God will judge every false one? God will, listen, just, you, you need to clear your way and say, God, I turn them over into your hand. There were some people that was harassing Paul. There were some people that was irritating Paul. You know what Paul said? Let us turn such a one over to Satan. I don't know. Maybe this is too much for some of you. He said, turn them over to Satan. He talk about Alexander has brought him much problems, caused him so much pain. And he began to speak that I don't have time to play with people. The next thing is a lot of prophets and so-called pastors and whoever, they, they, they have a problem with the way God is using some people. And so because they have a way that God is using some pastors and some people, they begin to, this, amen, they begin to praise God, amen, to try to praise God, amen, this, amen, to begin to watch curse and to run the words against people that God is using. One of the things that shocked me, though, and I have to say this, is that the same people that is criticizing a true man of God or a true woman of God. These are the same people that is saying to their followers, oh, we thank God. 
for the way that God used to use Catherine Coleman. Oh my God. We thank God for the way that God used to use Maria Woodward Etta. We thank God for the way God used to use William Prana. But what amazes me is when Catherine Coleman was alive, there was a band of wicked people just like them that was persecuting her. hearing me there was people around that was trying to sabotage Maria Woodward Etta there were people that were saying William Branham was a false prophet but only because they are now dead and gone am I talking to somebody and because they're no longer here so what we now do people of God we cannot celebrate the living we can only celebrate the dead your dispensation word to the wise know what God has called you as know when you are a true prophet of God know when you are a true servant of God know when you are in fact trying to be an intercessor before trying to be a prophet hallelujah because your haters are going to be many especially while you are alive so people persecuted them while they was living a person. And nobody gave them any kudos. Do you know what I notice in the world right now? That if you are not a part of a certain circle of people. So this is these seven over there. This is these eight over there. I know they're not going to like me for it, but I'm going to say it because I fear no man. I fear God. And praise God. I'm under praise God. The auspices of the Holy Spirit. And I thank God for a spiritual covering, which is my husband. Praise God. Hallelujah. And a group of intercessors. Praise God that know my God. That love God and love me. Shabbat So there is segregation. The same people that are preaching unity, unity, unity. They are very segregated. If you're not the right color, let me just tell you all right now. So you all can know. So you all can be advised. Those of you that are up and coming people of God. Up and coming pastors, prophets, evangelists. Listen, if you're the wrong color, you better make sure that you have Jesus in you. Praise God. And then make sure you have Jesus. Because they're going to they gonna, they gonna out you right out of their group. Out of their little favorite five. Are you understanding me? If you in the right gender, if you are a woman, I pray for you today. As a woman of God, if you are called, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the grace of God will be upon you and that you will rise to the place where God is calling you in the realms of the Spirit. If you are a man and you ain't acting like them, then you are still in an out category because you have to fit their exact match. They have their own God help me, somebody help me. They have their own. They have their own what? Society. They have their own status. They have their own requirements. Yes. They have their own criteria. Yes. Secret orders. They have their own secret orders. Now, never mind. Let me tell you the next thing that think, makes people think they're powerful. I don't know how I get you, but because of how. Maybe, and maybe the Holy Spirit, but let me just help you out. Let me just help you. If you're in the right color, you're in trouble. If you ain't the right gender, you're in trouble. If you ain't from the right place, you in my never mind. Half of these people migrated oh, from come somewhere. On. Come on, prophetess. Amen. Deal with it. Come on, prophetess. Deal with it. I don't care whether they came from Russia. I don't care whether they came from Colombia. I don't care whether they came from Peru. And I don't care whether they came from Africa, South Africa. I don't care where they came from. Jamaica, every last, some of them, they migrated from somewhere. Canada, somewhere! But now, you, you came from a small little place. Because you came from a what? A small little place. They say, hmm, came from a small little place. Oh, hmm. So they turn their nose at you. Am I talking to somebody? But this is the hour. Let me tell you people right now. Praise God. This is the hour of the rise of the Davids. Where God will bring Davids from the backsides of wilderness. He 
He said, I will bring them out of the backside of wilderness. And while everybody is afraid to fight Goliath, we Davids, we Davids, come on somebody. We shall rise up with a sling and a stone and slay every giant. Am I talking to somebody here? So if you're not a part of their little society, so everyone forget where they came from. One more thing. So everybody, they are now collaborators, right? So they are what? Collaborators. Okay. This one invite this one to their platform. And then when they get to their platform, they invite the next one to their platform. And then they say, yeah, you know, this is my good friend, so and so. Follow him, follow him, follow him. So all of a sudden, everybody has a million followers and there's nothing wrong with that. Well, I would love to have a million followers too. But praise God, amen. Understand me. Praise God. I want people that are willing to follow Jesus. And if you want to follow me, follow me as I follow Christ. Am I talking to somebody? And if you want to follow me, great God, I don't want to lead you to the gates of hell. And I don't want to plug you with a bunch of error and heresy messages. Mm. So you will know what the new thing is now. If you don't have a million followers, you're not powerful. If you don't have a million people following you, you're not powerful in the eyes of some people. Because you're looked at now because the followers are supposed to be the modern day resume. And if you do not have that number following you, they say, ah, this person is not powerful. The next one, if you are only following me because of followers and the amount of subscribers, and the amount of, yes, I want the subscribers. Because of course, that's more people to preach Jesus and truth to. But that's not my number one priority. Am I talking to somebody? You know what my number one priority is, Apostle? It's praise God, the fact that on one night, Apostle and I can preach a message and over a hundred people run to the hunter and say, I repent. I repent. I repent of what I say. I say that's powerful to me, oh. That's powerful, Apostle. That's power. That's powerful that, that their names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. That your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. That my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Jesus said, don't even rejoice because demons are subject to you. The Bible said the 70 went out and came back and said, oh no, Jesus. Even the demons are subject to us in your name. Jesus said, oh, really? Can you rejoice that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life? Yeah. Hallelujah. So what is the message, the moral of the message here? Be careful who you follow. Be careful who you call daddy. Be careful who you call your prophet. Be careful. Whoever you join yourself to. You know, Paul wrote in the book of Corinthians, he said, if you join yourself to an island, you become just like one. So some people have, however, innocently joined themselves to people because, and it's wolf in sheep clothing, and they look as though they were somebody that God said. And Jesus looked and said, mm, I don't even know them. They are a worker of iniquity. And it's okay. Listen to me carefully. Because now, when the light turns on and the spirit of God, I didn't call this woman to this altar. She brought herself to this altar. She brought herself here. Who's that with you? Your friend. Hallelujah. So, God is obviously saying something to you people to set you free. And I said, who the son set free? is free and free indeed. The word of God comes to shed light. The word is your number one. If you don't yet have the spirit of discernment or rather the discerning of spirits, go to the scripture and ask the Lord to show you through scriptures. Don't just depend on your dreams, even though sometimes your dream can reveal who somebody is. Praise God. Amen. Somebody said the other day, amen, that their pastor was chasing them and all of a sudden their pastor turned into a big Double, um, double cheeseburger. <laughs> the 
pastor turned into a Big Mac. Oh my God. Mac on the attack. They asked me, what do I think about the pastor? I said, but before we get to the pastor, which one of the pastors? They said, is it Pastor McDonald's? <laughs> or Pastor Burger King? Which one did you have? And then they turned to me and they said, truly you are a prophet. It was McDonald's. <laughs> set you free today. You and your friend. May he set you free. There's one of the gates I have not addressed as yet. But you have forced me today to reject, address that gate. And it's called the gate of false religion. The gate of false religion. I don't have time to teach this one too much this morning because our time is short. We're coming back tonight. Everyone had better be back tonight and tomorrow. Amen. Everyone had better be back tonight and tomorrow. Hallelujah. Let me say something else to this concerning this the gate of false religion and the gate of religion because they look similar. Even religion can put you in a state of perpetual bondage. Right. Religion, a religious spirit. Because all you keep thinking about, I was born a Methodist, I will die a Methodist. I was born a Baptist, I will die a Baptist. And you are a prisoner under the disguise of religion. But, and then there's false religion, which is a religion that is so close to true religion that you're not aware it's a cult. Do you get me? You're not aware it's a cult yet. But if you keep praying, if you stay around an altar that's praying, Fire reveals everything. Yeah. The altar of fire. The gate of fire. Reveals everything. So, the altar of religion, the gate of religion, sorry, is a gate when it locks you into it, it closes on you. Before you even know it, you're overtaken in your mind by a spirit that teaches error. And even though your spirit is trying to rise up and check, 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 it doesn't allow you to check because the religion becomes a stronghold on the mind. When it becomes a stronghold, the person will be trying to fight to get out from under it. But the difficulty is because you've already locked in, you're locked in behind the gate. It, it blinds an eye. Now let me give you this word. The spirit of false religion. Everybody thinks that Jezebel, apostle, is just a seductive spirit, is a sexy spirit, is a sexual spirit. I got news for y'all today. Jezebel is more of a false religion than it is of sexuality, even though it involves perversion, even though it involves seduction. But it's not just sexual seduction. It is religious seduction. The word seduce means to lure you and draw you from out, from the place where you're supposed to be. So it seduces people and it seduces their mind and it draws them out from the truth. So what the spirit of Jezebel does, praise God, is it blinds your eye. It blinds your mind. It clouds your thought. It perverts your thinking to the degree that you cannot think straight. To the degree that you cannot think of God or the things of God. It's always got your mind. And then it blinds you so that you never see the truth. Jezebel had over 450 false prophets. Okay? And then she had another 400 prophets of the grove. Yes, it was religion and it was sexual immorality. So when people are going to try to dope you, whenever a religion or a church is called, people are going to be used to destroy you. You will see those spirits working together. And they will come on a pathway to lure you from the truth, to lure you from that which is right, to lure you from that which is ordained of God. And before you know it, you are under its grip.
open your eyes. See. Ask God to give you spiritual vision. Before you pray for another gift of the Spirit, say, Lord, give me the discerning of spirits. Lord, give me the discerning of spirits. Give me the discerning of spirits. Give me the ability to discern that which is right from that which is wrong. That which is good from that which is evil. That which is of you or that which is of the devil. Are you hearing me today, people of God? It doesn't mean because a prophet uses, praise God, something to pray for you for, with their mantle. It don't mean they are false prophet. It doesn't mean that because, amen, Jesus spit in the ground and made a, a, a mud, made a, a, you know, a paste and put it on the man of the eye, that Jesus is a false prophet. That doesn't make the person's fault. Amen. It is sometimes their teacher, their teaching. It is their root. It is the origin. It is the source from which their power came from. Always ask God. Please, I don't know how I got here. The gate. The gate. Ask the Spirit of God to reveal to you the origin and the source of that person's power. Ask the Spirit of God to show you what is the source, where is their power coming from. If you, if, and somebody told yesterday, if you can discover what is the root, then you will know what is the fruit. Because many shall rise in these last days saying that I am of Christ and they shall deceive many. And Jesus said, just be not deceived. Just make sure where you are connected. Do not because people are calling, everybody is calling this person false means that they are false. Not because everybody is, I don't like calling names on my platform. But you know, people of God, if you were not careful, you would have even called Benny in a false prophet. You would have even said, hey, he's a false. I don't care. I, it doesn't matter what, I, I'm not trying to, are you getting me? This man, Shambak, R.W. Shambak, he did 10 revivals, more than he did stadiums. But you would have said, ah, see that he's probably a false prophet because all he can afford is tents. Mm. So did all Roberts. You would have called them false. Because a few people rose up on, listen, everything that come on social media, don't believe it. We are in the age of what is called artificial intelligence. And artificial intelligence sometimes can be very intelligent. Depends on who program it. So the voice of the person can even sound like the voice. Amen. Many of you are right there talking about, oh, did you just hear? Did you just see that so-and-so say you should eat this? Eat this, eat onion for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Eat raw gal and this, you think it's a movie star, it's not them. Some, it's just a voice of something that use and know how to manipulate a computer to lie. If people are being, pictures are being released about people and it's not even the person. They cut and place. I'm just telling you today, make Jesus, who is saved from this? Nobody. Only Jesus can keep us all because they will try to scandalize your name. When men shall revive and persecute you, and say all manner of evil against me, falsely for my name's sake. Rejoice and be glad. Great is your reward in heaven. Mama, may Jesus deliver you. I don't know if your friend also needs deliverance, but may Jesus deliver you from the power. Yes, ma'am. All the time. I don't really have to go. It's okay. Let me tell you right now. And it's your problem. It's your problem. So it's demonic. So you get me. It's an evil spirit. It's not yours. And it's the one that comes to you in the dream. Do you get me? Is this true? It's true. Yeah. So it comes. It's okay. It comes. And it will do different things to people. It will either put something in your mouth. Or it will kiss you. Kiss you to the point where it kisses you until you become weak or something will become aroused. And that's what happens is you will even thinking that you're having a release in your dream and you're wearing yourself. People listen to me. I don't have time to wait soon. I'm just telling, telling some of you that if this is time God wants to deliver his people. God wants to set his people free. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, you evil spirit that has attacked this woman, that is trying to, to, to destroy her life. 
Lift your hand, mommy. Take seven steps towards me. Take seven steps. Do not touch her. Do not touch her. All of you, come. Do not touch her. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Let the Holy Spirit deliver you. Let him deliver you. Out of her. Take your powers out. Take your powers out. Go out. In the name of Jesus. Remove your powers. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, pornography come out. In the name of Jesus, masturbation come out. In the name of Jesus, come out. Yes, masturbation, come out of me. In the name of Jesus, every unclean spirit come out. Your spirit of uncleanness come out. Out. Come out of me. Out in the name of Jesus. Molestation come out. Abuse come out. In the name of Jesus. Abuse come out. In the name of Jesus, abuse of every kind, come out. It's okay, let Jesus deliver you now. It's my time. It's my time. You said it now. It's your time to be delivered. Jesus. Shapanda, out of her, come out, go out. You unclean spirit. You unclean spirit. Shatanamasata. Shut up, she's not a lesbian. Go out! Go out! Go out! Go out! Take your powers out. Take them out. Take them out. You spirit of insanity. I destroy your kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ, lose your powers. Go out of her. Out! 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 Spirit of witchcraft. Go out of her. Out! I destroy your kingdom. Wherever the enemy has captured 
captured your soul, captured your mind, captured your emotion. Somebody open your mouth and say, Oh God, release me from the prison of bondage. Release me from the prison of bondage of mental illness. A mental illness. Release me from the prison of mental agony and torment. Say, You spirit of torment, come out of me, come out of my mind. Come out of my soul, come out of my life, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I'm talking to one, I'm talking to all. I don't know what you're waiting for. I'm talking to one, I'm talking to all. Jesus has come to deliver you. Hallelujah. Be free in your mind. Be free in your thoughts. Listen to me. The battlefield in the life of every believer oh, yes. is not great. It's not an act. It's not Russia. It's the man. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, ma'am. Amen. Now, I want to show you something. <laughs> if you want to create a show, if you want to create a show, you can go on and on with for hours with a demon. With a demon instructing you. and hours trying to deliver somebody when even the demon that they carry already know that they cannot stay there but the person because I don't know maybe I want to teach something is the person is with the demon so long and the demon has been with them so long. Oh and even in that moment right there, they want to continue on. Oh they want to be free, but they want to continue on. So in part is the demon, and in part it could be them. I want to teach those of you that are in my school, try not to waste your whole life. Try to deliver one person. I just tried to tell you there was a day I will be delivering and delivering. There was a day I delivered people for hours, 10 hours. You all know what I'm talking about. There was a day I delivered people from, sun, from sunrise to sunset. And Jesus, what is this? Never forget it was somebody birthday, somebody close to me, and I was trying to be finished with deliverance, deliverance, because I wanted to make sure that that person knew that I was celebrating them. I watched sunrise and I watched sunset, and that thing was that hey, hey, Marty, me still here, me still here. I said, where are you? Me in your feet. Me and she feet, see? Me and she feet. Look how they feet. Look how she feet is still moving, my team. Then all of my people with me around me all began to attack the feet. Feet demon! You demon of feet! <laughs> you demon of corn, of, of, of corn on the toes! You demon of calluses! Calluses! Causing paralysis! Paralysis! As, 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 as. Apostle, 
if you raise a voice up. Sometimes I check your phone. I check my phone. Also send me a video, a picture. Babes, if you look at the man by the pool, I will know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to cook. No, no one needs to cook. Tell them you don't need to cook. I ordered out. It was just a little praise God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's the right in the middle of our stomach. Now, there are some demons. They are stubborn. They are rebellious. Some, depending on the type of witchcraft that was worked on the person, that may take a longer than a minute. But eventually it will go out. Did you get me? All of it will go out. And then there are different charms they have. They okay, get put in the person. But now listen to me. When I'm delivering somebody and the person, first person, is talking too much, is talking too much. You're delivering someone and the person is talking too much, which means that their spirit is still up strong. Uh, either you man that spirit, person spirit to go into another compartment and wait. When I say go down, I'm talking about another compartment. Are you getting me? I put them in another compartment. So I can deliver them. But now, watch this. If that person just, is just talking, 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 and they still try to be in control of the deliverance, you can be here all day because that person is headstrong religious or they know so much that they want to tell you how to deliver them. Now some people they can help you by talking in the beginning because they can you don't go straight to the problem. If you don't have the spirit of resentment, they can help you. Did you get me? Because they can say to you, the problem is in my mind. This is where I have the most difficulty. There's nothing wrong with that. Did you get me all in my bowels? You it's nothing wrong with that. You can help the person quicker if you don't have the discerning of spirits. But if the deliverance is going on now for 10 hours later, 10 hours I say, oh, 10 hours, it's about to be sunset. It's about to be midnight. You're about to enter the witching hour. <laughs> More demons are coming to reinforce that demon. Uh, I know you're coming. Guess what? Treating for reading. April 18th to the 21st. Training for Raining is coming up April 18th to the 21st. It's going to be powerful. Those of you that believe that God has called you as an intercessor and also to work in some area of ministry, any area, especially if it's the work with a prophet or an apostle, or to help to bring people into deliverance or any type of ministry gifts, you want to be in that one. Register for it today in the lobby. It should be on April 18th to the 21st. Amen. It's the training for reigning. Amen. Of a lifetime. And everybody knows prophets go all out. A training for reigning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last thing I want to say on that deliverance of any kind. So, some of the people, they're already free from the demon. Right? They're really free. But it's what is called associated. Uh, it is called, uh, it is a pathway of association where the mental arena has attached itself. Amen. And created what is called a soul or a solical affinity to the spirit. And even though they are free of it, because it's their habit, which they were used to. Can you imagine being attacked by this spirit? Waking up every morning. The first thing you meet is that spirit. The first thing you go to, the last thing you go to bed is that. So it's association. Okay? And it doesn't mean that the person is still possessed or besieged by the demon. It simply means because creatures, we are creatures of habit. So you are used to hearing that voice and you are now hearing that voice then. So that's why the devil tricks people out of being healed. Because they say, do you not still feel the symptom? And they say, ah, I, I didn't feel like that. Uh, I feel like I'm almost free. So, you know, Jesus had a solution for that. Oh, yeah. He asked the man, can you see? 
And the man say, Kylo. Jesus say, okay, look, I said, I got to spin again. <laughs> Say, look, I gotta just spit again because I need you to be able to see clearly. What's your voice name, Mama? What's your first name? Marina. Marina. That's scary. That's scary. Not scared, it's just scary. I went to bed around. He said, come before me. So I had to run from one side to over to the next side where we have the altar set up. As I entered the altar, he said, deliver Marina. So I will either roll over and hit record if he allows me to, or when he releases me from the altar, I will begin to type it in my notes. Are you understanding me? Because timing is very important in the realm of the spirit. Even as an intercessor, you should know that times and seasons are very important. So I want to close with this word for you, my name. Would the sun set free be free indeed? Satan has no dominion over you. Did you hear me? Yes, I hear he you. He has no power over you. He has no power over me. I set you free in the name of Jesus Christ. I set you free by the free. legal blood of Jesus. Free. I set you free by the power of Holy Spirit. I'm free. In the mighty name of Jesus. The prison that the enemy had tied you into, even in your mind. I command that demon of the prison, in the name of Jesus, the commander of that prison, to loose you from you. Hey. To loose you from that place. Loose you from that place. Loose you from that place. Name of Jesus Christ. Zabakarebo said, I set you free. And even the people that went against you and your family. Zabakatana Basata. Basata. Rabakatana Basata. Rabakata. Resetene Mekita Basata. Rakalakatu Sepatana. Whatever poison was given to you. Sleep. I come out to woman out now. Oh, <laughs> out of Jesus' name. Oh, out of Jesus' name. Oh, out of Jesus' name. Oh, Jesus name. Oh, you order, come, come out. out, out, out. Oh. And put the fishing line oh. of the Holy Ghost down in your throat. Down in the belly. Supply to the team. Satan to the mouth. Woman out while you're poisoned. Woman out while you're poisoned. Come out and pull you out. Come out. Jesus. Jesus. Let's go from her. Go from everyone in this Go from everyone in this building. Tell a pain tormented by the spirit of witchcraft. When the devil has given you orders, has put orders in your body. Every foul order, from it out. From it out. Whatever poison the enemy has given you in your dream. 
From it out, from it out. Every way under the sound of my voice, the word of God declare that it shall vomit you out. In the name of Jesus, the fish shall vomit you out. The earth shall vomit you out. Every sickness that's in your body, that's not supposed to be there. I command it, from it out. Every last one of you, put your hands on your stomach. Put your hands on your stomach. Put your hands on your belly. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, I see the fire. The fire of the center. The gates of fire. The gates of fire. The gates of fire. 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 That demon cannot resist. The gates of fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Somebody say, where's the gates of fire? It is the fire of the Holy Ghost. I don't care where the spirit has entered your life. I don't care how it has come into your life. To your dreams. To the gates of your dreams. To the cavity of your soul. To broken relationship. I command all gates. Sit up here. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, gates of fire, gates of fire, gates of fire, gates of fire, rise up, rise up, rise up, in the realm of the spirit, you gates of fire, rise up, everywhere, tell somebody, tell a pen attack, by witches, attack, by warlocks, attack, by sarcomas, up the attack, by generational altars, attack by familiar spirit in the name of Jesus. Put your hands upon your stomach in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost. 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 Wherever you are, wherever you are, you are great spirit. You are great spirit. From it out. From it out your poison. Out. It's happening all over the building. It's happening all over the building. It's happening all over the world. It's happening everywhere you are. Whatever they have fed you in your sleep. Whatever they have poisoned you in your sleep. They have fed you from their altars in the name of Jesus. I command the poison in your body. Be uprooted. Be uprooted. Jesus. Be uprooted. Be uprooted. Be uprooted. Be uprooted. In the name of Jesus. Somebody receive your deliverance while you're waiting on me. They are angels of fire. Angels of fire. They are moving all over the building. Angels of fire. Salatana Tana. So poor Shata. Come on, that sickness is not yours. That sickness is not yours. That disease is not yours. That aura is not yours. That weakness in your body, that's not yours. In the name of Jesus, I terminate that power. I command it out. Every unclean spirit, every spirit sent from the gates of hell to torment your life, to torment your mind, to torment your soul. You unclean spirit, however you have entered, however you have come into me, you evil spirit, however you have come into my life, however you have attacked my life, somebody begin to command it. Come out of me. Go out of me. Go out of me. Go out of me. Go out of me. Take your powers out. Take your powers out. Take your powers out. Remove your power. 
plumbers. Remove your 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 plumbers. Come out of me. Go out of my life. Come out of my body. Satan is 
of opportunity. Your situation, your life has been delayed. 
has been on a delay switch. And no matter how hard you try, it just seems as if you keep hitting rock bottom. No matter how hard you work, even no matter how much hours you work, it's still not enough hours. Praise God to cover every day. It's still at the end of the day you come out empty and you come out wanting. I, can I deliver you today, sir? Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, yes. I break the curse from your Jesus. Jesus. I break the curse from your Jesus. Jesus. I lose you. Come the gates of stagnation. In the name of Jesus, everything that has gone wrong in your life, from a child growing up, everything that has gone wrong, even the rejection, in your family, from the male man, from the father, in the name of Jesus, I deliver you from that place of disappointment Jesus. and from that place of hurt. Are you hearing me, son? Are you hearing me? I deliver you from that place. And even relationships that you would have put yourself with and they disappointed you and they left you. Am I talking to you? There's greatness on the inside of you. Amen. There's greatness in you. You're not who the devil say you are. Amen. You go to sleep and all night long, you are Jaramaraya You are moving and you're traveling. And when you're dreaming and when you wake up, you cannot even remember some of the dreams. But you even feel more tired when you wake up than when you went to sleep. So I see a spirit, a lethargic spirit is sitting on you like a beast. I remove that beast. I remove that spirit. I cast it away from you, sir. I cast it away from your life. That you will not be delayed. That you will not be delayed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Instead of events happening, other events happen that will cause what is called untimely delay. My God. God said, This tyrant will rule no more over you. This tyrant will rule no more over you. And it will rule no lot more over your house. So, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I break it. Out of him! Somebody say, Come out of him. Somebody say, Ah! I cast you out. Ah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. I command you out of his life. Ah. Out of his life. Ah. Out of his body. Ah. Out of his dream. Ah. Out of his relationship. Ah. 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 Out in Jesus' name. Out in the name of Jesus. I set you free. I set you free. <laughs> Gate of fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set him free by the blood of Jesus. No more delay, no more hindrance. You spirit of witchcraft, go from him in the name of Jesus. Go from his life. Spirit is there waiting on you, my God. 
no matter which island you show up to, that spirit is waiting on you. Jesus. It is now something that is coming from your ancestors or something that is coming, praise God, from your father's house or your mother's house. It is monitoring you. It is watching you. Are you understanding? It's even watching your children. No matter which job you go to, it is there waiting on you. It starts out good. Everything starts out good. And before you know it, you look around. The same events begin to repeat itself. Am I talking to somebody? It's a mortal spirit. It's a spirit of darkness. Today, in the name of Jesus, Arabaka, I call on the God of the gates of fire to burn that evil spirit away, to cast it away, to take it from your life, to take it from your life, to take it from your life. In the name of Jesus, you evil spirit, you unclean spirit, you can have a mother life. Your time of torment is over. In the name of Jesus. Yes, you are. Go from her. Go in Jesus' name. Go from her. Go from her children. Go out, I say. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go out, I say. Lose your breath. Lose your breath. Out. Take your power out. Take your power out. Out! Out in Jesus' name. You spirit of the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You spirit of the name. All of you that is on that system of the day, lift your hands in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You spirit of the day. You spirit of the day. Your time is up. Your time, time is over. Your time is over. You will delay me no more. Delay me no more. You will delay me no more. You will delay me no more. Oh, gates of fire. Oh, gates of fire. 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 Fight for me. Fight for me. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fight for me. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fight for me. Power of the Holy Ghost. Power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let me be released. Let me be released. From those demonic gates. From those demonic gates. Gates of stagnation. The gates of stagnation. Gates of delay. Gates of delay. Gates of hindrance. Gates of hindrance. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. Stop your work. Stop your work. I command you to be released. I command you to be released. Be released from my life. 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 Be released from my family. Be released from my family. In my mind. In my thoughts. In my thoughts. In my mind. In my mind. In my thoughts. In my thoughts. In my words. In my words. In my deeds. I will no longer be hindered by you. Gates of fire. Gates of fire. Gates of fire. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Burn in me. Burn in me. Move in me. Move in me. Burn in my life. Burn in my life. Burn in my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let my life take progress. Take progress. Let my life begin to soar. Begin to soar. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Gates of fire. Gates of fire. Great success. Great success. Great success. Great success. Open to me. Open to the gates of success. The gates of success. The gates of success. The gates of success. The new gates. You create a failure. A failure. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. By the gates of fire. By the gates of fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Gates of fire. Gates of fire. Open to me. Open to me. The gate of influence. The gate of influence. The gates of influence. The gates of influence. In the name of Jesus. Open to me. Open to me. The gates of favor. The gates of favor. Gates of favor. Uncommon favor. Uncommon favor. Common favor of God. Favor. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Even the spirit of anxiety, 
because of what you've been through. Uh -huh. So let it be no more. This year will be the year to turn around for you and not for bad, turn around for good. Let the ones that try to hurt you, let the wrath of God come upon them. Let the wrath of God come upon them. The wrath of God come upon them. There's a people that you need to forgive. As you forgive them, you will see God said, Now I will be able to deal with you. Free me, Jah. 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 This is one of the reasons why you often hear me say, I command the elders to be destroyed. Yes. You see, it seems sometimes like the people in the kingdom of darkness are more serious about their fight than some Christians are. Because they, they have altars. And some of you don't. They have altars and some of you don't. And even though this is an altar that you can be connected to, you don't fully connect. You have to connect. Are you understanding this? Yes. Help that lady up. Tell her she's free. She's free. Watch your hair, sir. With your size 15 shoes. Sorry. But it's true. You see the first thing she did when she got up? She checked to make sure her hair was still. <laughs> you know that works. Deliverance, you a woman can lose her shoes. She can even lose a ring, a bracelet, a wedding band. Even a false teeth can fall out. When she get up, she just gonna make sure that hair still. My God, I was preaching in Texas several weeks ago. <laughs> I'm sure you saw that. And I was delivering these people and delivering the revival was so powerful in Texas. And this lady. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This lady came in there with her walker and everything. And when she realized that she was free, she flicked that walker one way. When that walker went right, her hair went left. My God. And <laughs> yes, Avery, it was you. And you know, so every those were trying to fix her wigs back on. And they put her wigs on back in front. Hey! Jesus. The wrongest thing you can do to him. The second wrongest thing you can do to a woman wigs is put it on backwards. Hey! And he put the woman wig on backwards. And then came along a spider and sat down beside her. Ryan was worse. He's telling Avery you put it on wrong. He put it on backwards. Ryan put it on sideways. My God. <laughs> My God. Somebody say chaos. <laughs> and so finally the woman got so angry with the two of them. And she took that wig and she flinged it. He <laughs> said, enough of this foolishness. I am free. I can walk. I can walk, look, I can, I can run. Hallelujah. Somebody can go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God is the one that gives you the victory. Thanks be unto God that caused you to triumph over your enemies. Say that the Lord win over you. 
I want to tell you today, demons, they exist. But you got more power over a demon than a demon have over you. Are you understanding? I say you got more power over a demon. And if a demon have over you, let me tell you something else. This is the thing that you need to be careful for also. Know when it's God shaking a person. When is the spirit of God moving and shaking a person? From when it is a demon manifesting in a person. I know the difference. And you understand me. Some of you it is a demon manifesting. Others of you it is the spirit of God shaking you. Or doing something powerful in you. That he's trying to get to you or get you to. A lot of what we saw here today were demons manifesting in people. And the Holy Spirit was sending them free. Give God a praise for them. Hallelujah. given to prayer, fasting, intercession, and number two, from prayer to the word. Anyone that tried to tell you they are prophet, and you don't see them doing those basic elements, be very careful of them. Be very careful. But you should also be aware, because witches have mastered the art of fasting. They have mastered it, not to God, but to their masters. Christians are the only ones They've also mastered the art of sacrifice. Christians are hoarders. We hold on to what we have for rainy days. And we tell God what we cannot give him and what we do not have. Yet we have it. The people in the world are not so. Every day they go to their altar and they put blood on their altar. They put sacrifice there. And they need it. They dedicate it. And they rededicate it. So all I'm saying to you today, if we're going to win, if we want to succeed, learn the power of this altar. Learn the power of the altar you're connected to. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of 
Jesus. Paz, reino, vida. Toda esta alta vida de mi lado. Hay un día que nunca nos vamos a pedir por otro. A day is coming in the church. Hallelujah. Where the prophets and the bishops, the prophets and the apostles will not be stigmatized by having to ask for offering to pay expenses to me. And that day is, is here. And because why? If the time we're taking to be trying to convince you to give is the time we can be there to bring a soul. You'll be blessing somebody, amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, we have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Again, I'm in your free. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Read the word. Read the word. Read the word. And stay connected to the altar of prayer. The altar of fire. The demons that were attacking you. It's from a wicked altar. You understand what I'm saying? From a wicked place. I hate to tell people all the time who their attacker is. Because then they start to focus on the one, the person who attacked them. Everybody want prophet is back to tell them. Tell me who is it? Who is it? Gina Dina here. Tell me. When I tell them it's Gina Dina, they don't even wait for the service is over. No. They go in the lobby. Yeah, answer this phone. Oh yeah. Yeah, you, Gina. Yeah, I know it's you. God told me it's you. That God told me is be okay. They say, Prophet is Matty, not in I want to live to fight another day. So, just go in the word, class, and pray. Let the Spirit of God have His way in your life. I want to pray for more of you. This is a revival. Praise God. Fire revival. So you, as I'm doing this, some of you don't even know I see demons and even by the masses. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you with the same with me today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, this one, gates of fire. Not many demons can stand or will stand that gate. So the, for the prophet to see or hear the word of the spirit as an intercessor or a servant of God. You must have a sinless life. A life of no sin. A life of holiness. Your mantle must be at the van. And then, fifth, and by no means least, you must be able to be a carrier of fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say carrier of fire. Yes. So, no demons, people that were not going out. Are you crazy? <laughs> out now. Tell me which snake can resist fire, not one. So it must be a carrier of fire, a custodian of the realms of fire, and be taken all by the mantle of fire. So that is what you are experiencing in this revival through us, because God knows he can trust us. So when we say you are free, know that you are free. Not every demon is going to, to be given the privilege of drama. You understand me? Hey, wait, the camera's up on me now. Yes, I am Lucifer. From the 14th portrait. From the abyss tower. I dwell in the abode of Sheol. Go look for different Hollywood shows. No, the one who is the son of that power. Some will talk, some they don't even want to talk. Some of them just want to go. Are you understanding me? Imagine the whole church service taken up by all demons talking and telling you peace in their mind. No, sir. It's time for God to talk. Hallelujah. I want to prophesy. I want to deliver. You will be delivered. Will be set free. Sometimes we do allow them to talk. Jesus did it uh, one or twice in his ministry. It's okay. But we just want some time for you to hear what was attacking you. Are you getting me? He said, I say to one, go. And go. Come and come. That's the power of authority, spiritual authority. 
So be free today. Clap your hands that you guys fire.
Depois eu não saio e eu sei. All over the earth, all around the world, somebody say fire. fire. Gates of fire. Gates of fire. Fire the Holy Ghost. Say no devil. No tapi. No, no, no spirit of darkness. No will be able to out the fire of the Holy Ghost. That's burning in my life. In my Give God a mighty shout of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is your strength, people of God. I know when we begin to celebrate like this, people begin to look a little funny and they say, ah, you know I didn't come here, you know I just come here for my miracle Lord. But who knows, that arthritis was about to leave your back and get to smile. Hallelujah. <laughs> if you had only said, fuck up, If you would only set fire in the world, that being would have left you. <laughs> My God, but the joy of the Lord is our strength. We don't have, we have a bunch of young people following us by the masses. <laughs> Some of your children are so out of touch with some of you because you're deeper than the deep. You're deeper than the bishop. You're even deeper than the pope. <laughs> That's really deep. But I want to just say to you that we had such a glorious time in the presence of the Lord. Disease, Apostle prayed even in the beginning, and I saw demons leaving, demons of sickness, demons of pain. I just saw people being set free. And most of you that were here, the you would know by the time you get back home, by the time you get back to your homes, by the time you, you will just know that Jesus has touched you in a special way to me. Jesus. So I want you to remember tonight, people of God, there's going to be all fire. This whole weekend is all about the fiery presence of God. You can do whatever you want to do, but you cannot deny the God of fire. And I want to just say, Apostle, before we leave, is that I was listening to some of the testimonies. We caught a few of them when we came in. And, you know, every last testimony was powerful. I don't know where that lady is, what lady said that. She could not pass our barrister exams and she decided to pray and connect with this altar. And then, bam, she took that exam again and she passed a legal profession exam. Somebody should give God a praise for that. Another lady testified that her brother was demonized. They laced his weed and he was out of, in and out of his mind. But she connected to this altar. And she said, amen, there was a trip I took to do revival in Bahamas. And I located her brother, praise God. And she said, today, that boy, he's serving a short prison term. But it could have been worse. I don't know if y'all understood that. She said, it could have been worse. Hallelujah. But God used us to deliver him and deliver his mind. He's been serving a little time when he's in my books and in the Bible. That's a miracle in itself. Praise God. So many powerful, powerful, powerful testimonies. And I don't want you all to forget them because you are next in line. I say you are next in line for a testimony. Somebody say I'm next in line with my testimony. to talk all of them off was the testimony of that young girl and her mama right here in Georgia you know right here in Georgia a little about two almost two years now we were at the Georgia World Congress Center they had connected to the what used to be the Georgia Dome and I remember that day and I remember when 
I don't know if it's me or Apostle. Apostle pray for first. But it ain't nothing like when you want to be a bold prophet and you say, lift that thing up off your hand. God, when she lift that thing up off her eye, I said, Sabra him, Rebu, Sabra Are you understanding me? And I said, only Jesus can perform this miracle. And no man can do it except God. You saw that tumor protruding through the eye and the nose. You know that that girl is a miracle. That girl is a miracle. These are pictures they're showing of when Apostle prayed for her. Amen. Praise God. Five hours later. <laughs> Praise God. But the point I want to bring is that God is the healer. God is the deliverer. And, uh, you know, all I want to happen for people is that your miracle will be complete. When you're not carrying fire, sometimes the enemy tries to run back around and cause a reoccurrence. I'm prophesying today in the name of Jesus. There will be no reoccurring events in your life that God has not established. There will be no repeat in the name of Jesus Christ of events. The fire of God, the gate of fire, will burn away every demonic cell tissue and you will rise victorious. I want y'all to do me a favor. I want y'all to remember to pray for that girl. Pray for her. You may not know her name, but you saw her face. Agree and pray every day. Praise God. So that's the picture of me praying for her. But Apostle had already prayed for her earlier. I didn't know that he had prayed for her. So by the time I came out, praise God, amen, I prayed for her. This amazing. One can taste a thousand, two can taste ten thousand. And the an apostle revealed to us that let's not rejoice over that scripture. Because amen, we should be the ones chasing the thousand demons. Two of so us should be putting ten thousand to them. So, my Jesus, when I prayed for that girl, when we prayed for her, you see, you couldn't see what was under the flap. You just saw the flap and you knew it was cancer. And I say, lift that flap up. When I saw that tumor, I say, I said, my baby, my baby, God did it. And to God be all the glory. Hallelujah. And that cancer never come again. I command vision to come to both eyes. Mobility to come to her. Cognancy to come to the brain. In the name of Jesus. And she will speak and preach the gospel. She will reach the gospel. Both she and her mother. I have one more thing to say on that. I thank God for that. That mother, that woman, she has faith, unbelievable faith. And no matter who look at that girl sometime away, that mother, she loved that girl so much. She didn't care, she never gave up. Every word that came out of the mouth of the apostle and the prophet that mother held on to her. And she said, by the stripes of Jesus, baby girl. Prophet say, apostle say, you are here. The word of God say, you are here. I call that great faith. And I want to just say to all of you that are suffering or have cancer, whatever the doctor told you, or if cancer had you, you have the power over that cancer. You have the power over that sickness, over that disease. So be here. Be delivered. Be set free. Rise up and walk. Rise up and live. Yeah. Walk on that wheelchair. Walk on that sickness. Be free. And just clap your hands and give God a praise. Hallelujah. I want to tell you, praise God. Amen. Tonight, we're coming back at 6. We're going to release you to go. Tomorrow is important that you bring your photos. It's important that you bring your pictures. Whatever you need Jesus to touch, there's going to be a powerful service tomorrow. And we're going to be praying for everything, everything you can take up. We will be praying for it, amen, even the restoration of your house, your relationships, your families. And also the water, so please carry it with you. Praise God.
and I stepped out. And I'm telling you, come oh. on, I have no, no more God. pain. No more pain. Thank you, Jesus. You demon, come here. Who are you attacking this woman like this? Who are you? Generation. Generation like this. Fabulous, she prophesied this man he came for. She said she was having pain in her abdomen that was swelling because the fallopian tubes were blocked. Prophetess, you prayed, and after you prayed for the lady, she said that the pain is absolutely gone. It's she gone. couldn't touch her abdomen, now she can touch it. He already, he isn't going to turn it around. He already, he already shifted around. Somebody's getting ready to get a call. I prophesy again. God says, Time now to the altar to be rebuilt in America. Am I talking to somebody? The altar of prayer, the altar of intercession, the altar of holiness, the altar of righteousness, the altar of truth, the altar of praise God of true worship. Am I talking to somebody? Come on, people, they must walk. They must walk. 